Well, thank you all for joining us. The issue of doctor-assisted suicide is unfortunately growing. More and more states are making this awful practice legal. And let me clear up any misgivings that you may have on our position here at Colorado Christian University and the Centennial Institute, that we are totally against this, and we are going to fight it every way we can. Just this past legislative session, a measure making doctor-assisted suicide legal was defeated in both the House and the Senate, but not by much. The sponsors of the House bill vowed before a hushed House chamber, and this is what they said in the Denver Post, that they will introduce this legislation again next year. And just this past week, a campaign launched for Initiative uh, 100, which was also in the Denver Post, is a proposed constitutional amendment that would allow people with an incurable degenerative illness to hasten death. The measure goes further than the House and Senate bills that were defeated this last legislative session in that it would allow others to administer the drugs to those who could not do so themselves. Let me make clear this distinction because this is very important. The House and Senate bills would allow for physician-assisted suicide, but in those cases, the person would have to administer the drugs themselves. The, the, um, the campaign for Initiative 100, which was going to put a ballot initiative on, on your ballot this November, would allow you to administer that drugs to somebody else that does not have consent, either because they are um, in incapacitated or just can't do it. That is euthanasia. Killing another person without their consent is euthanasia. And that's going to be on the ballot this November, very likely to be on the ballot this November. The issue of doctor-assisted suicide creates very unique coalitions, and that's part of the reason why we wanted to have this conversation. It's divided conservatives and libertarians, and you'll see that next week when John Caldera and I debated this issue on uh, The Devil's Advocate, which is his TV show. It's going to air next Friday. But it's also created very unique coalitions between social conservatives, Catholic Democrats, and the disabled community in an effort to protect life and, in my opinion, push back on this growing culture of death. Many, in this room, many of us in this room are people of faith. We're driven by our faith to care for all people, regardless of their circumstances. Remember the Good Samaritan. Remember Christ's command in Matthew 25, that when I was sick, you looked after me. When cultures have historically murdered the weak, the helpless, and the vulnerable, Christians have created hospitals and orphanages. We push back. Life is valuable in all of its stages. It is to be honored and cared with the utmost respect not quickly ushered off this earth.